Alright, hello and welcome to Toad's video, and we are Toad's playing Super Hexagon, which right now is actually quite cheap on, uh, it's a part of the Indie Humble Bundle. Um, so, Adam being the awesome guy he is, you got a copy of it, and, uh, we're gonna play it right now. Well, he's gonna play it right now. Yeah, I'm gonna play it. He's gonna play it. Um, so here we go, you're gonna press... Alright, so you're gonna choose which Hexagon when you start off. Okay, this is the first time I've ever played this. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, so you have Hexagon, Hexagona. Oh, so you Hard, yeah, harder, and ha hexagonist. But it gets even harder than that, I believe. Alright, sure so, here we go. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, alright. Well, no, it's just teaching the rules for now. But you're gonna see where the, the area that you can actually go around in. And it's gonna get faster and faster until it freaks you out! It's freaking out, man! That's it. That's it, okay. game over! That's our video for this week! <laughs> Three seconds and it already just got totally messed up. I love this game. All I, right. I love it so much. Um. Fuck. God damn. <laughs> I think you can. I'm not sure, but I think you can play with the mouse as well. Oh really? Um. I'm not. But I'm not sure. No, you can't. Okay, no mind. Sorry. I assumed. Oh, <laughs> Mine is really bad at this. No, dude. It's. I. I've seen a few let's players do this, oh, and it's. It's. It's rough. I. I should have like printed out a list of swear words I can use before I started to play this. Well, no, that's that's the best thing about it, Let's Play is that you can just make up your own swear words. Well, now I'm like feel pressure to try and make up swear words. Well, no, you should just be focused, honestly. Just game over. <laughs> there is an ending to these levels. Like it's it doesn't seem like it's not just an endless pattern of uh, awfulness. <laughs> Keep going. Ah, oh. how do you feel right about now? I feel irritated in a good way. <laughs> um, but how would you just how would you describe that feeling? Like in, a, in another way. I, I feel like it's like just come up and spit on me in the street, and I'm like, I'm not gonna take it, you know. Yeah, so you're determined to not get spat on again. Yeah, exactly. Except that I just keep getting <laughs> spat on. This is the game that just keeps spitting on you. Are you a Vietnam vet? Um, and who fabricates stories? <laughs> what? No, yeah, because you like you have to be a Vietnam vet to fabricate stories. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just what the oh, fuck? he's going Why crazy. Did that no, there's like a whole thing about the fact that like the people, the, the the whole sort of like Vietnam vet thing being spat on people was like a fabricated story. It was like uh, written as a bit of as bit of, as a bit of like um, sensationalist journalism from like the 70s. Um, but yeah, no, it's not not true. I mean, I'm don't I don't doubt that it's happened now. Oh, keep going, keep going. I'll be quiet. Okay, I'm not gonna be quiet. How do you feel now that you get to the next line? Um, the next line. Well, see, like, the, all the lines, see, you see you're at level 2 line? So, like, every single one, it'll go up the next line. It's like when we play Splunky. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I feel confused because I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's because you just want to get back into the game. You're not noticing anything else. You're just noticing yeah, the time. Are, are we recording? Are we doing a show? Because I'm, I'm just... <laughs> 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 just caught in some sort of trance now, man. I, I feel like, I have a feeling that, like... That, um, Terry, I keep putting the mic in your face just in case you swear. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to come up with expletives. Oh, I won't disappoint. Just find <laughs> the gun! <laughs> <laughs> All I heard was the sea word there, but there was something else in there. Thunder. It's a thunder cone. Oh, thunder cone. Alright. Yeah. Um, like thunder cats, but can't hear. Which is how I describe this game. It's, really. Well, no, I mean, uh, oh, fucking damn it. But it, it is a pen. It's, it's a repeating pen. Yeah. Like, 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 you'll notice the the patterns of the levels as you go along. Like, there's only a certain amount. Of, there's only a certain amount of lines um, within each area. What? Don't worry. <laughs> you focus on the game now, and it's really trance-like. Like, you could you could just not listen to us. I could just say I could just start reading off lyrics. Yeah, well, go ahead. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. Oh fuck! That's all I'm getting into this as well. But you go, man. I call my girl for anyway. Um, that's oh oh. Um, so anyway, the the reason not the reason that we record this, but one of the reasons that we're recording this now is because I'm getting my wisdom teeth out. So by the time this airs, uh, my wisdom teeth, all four of them, will be pulled out of my face. How do you feel about that, Adam? I feel pretty good about it. <laughs> I think it would make a nice change for your face. I'm just, I'm, I'm worried I'm not gonna have as much room in my cheeks. No, um... <laughs> I don't know, I exactly, I was just like, as I was saying that, I was like, uh, yeah, that's, that doesn't make any sense. 
Yeah. But that's good because I can install more acorns for the winter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop trying to make you laugh. It's <laughs> good. Nuts are uh, high in protein. Uh, that's good for a snack to help you lose weight. Except for like the salted ones. Those are bad. Those are pretty bad. Nutrition expert tweets video. Copyright 2013. Uh. I think only. Okay, oh, hang on, you're getting really good now. Oh shit! Too much spinning. It's like being on a carousel and you like want to get off, but the other kids just keep spinning it and spinning it and spinning it. And spitting on you? <laughs> spitting on me. Because I went to Vietnam, but I didn't really. Vietnam kids. <laughs> I can't. I honestly cannot imagine how difficult this is, and I, I kind of want to play it now. I know because you're playing it. It's a it's a first hand experience. I'm only can I can only do commentary as a as a secondary person. Oh shit! Man. Oh, oh shit! You went the wrong way. I'm it. sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like that kid. I'm like, I'm <laughs> why didn't you jump there? <laughs> 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 can you give me advice like that though? Oh, oh what, what the fuck? Oh my god! This Maybe game is. That? This is so different watching somebody like like I like it's different watching like a let's player and shit like that, but like watching s somebody play it right next to you and seeing I, I, the only way I, c I can describe it like his finger taps are so light at the moment because he's he's on edge. Damn. So anyway, before before we actually started playing this, we were uh, we were talking about the possibility of making a parody game of this called Super Sexagon. Oh yeah. Um, and basically, as you would get to the to the lines that would be further up, the girl would moan instead of just telling you that it would be game over. Or that you like ruined her orgasm. Wait, that's how you see that going? Well, yeah, I just thought it would be like, you know, like a possible sort of like a metaphor for further penetration. <laughs> this has got really yeah, dirty really that, quickly. I as well. I mean, the hexagon, everything's sort of receding into it. Because. So <laughs> <laughs> we, we can run with that, right? Uh, fun medical facts of the inside of vaginas look like hexagons. <laughs> that's not true. That's, um. Oh, man. Ugh. The vagina had to be any shape. <laughs> what shape? What shape would you like it to be? It's it's not like play school would like. Would you go through the round window? It's like well, I mean, I, they well, to be fair, they are different shapes. We shouldn't really be talking about this because <laughs> some people are going to be like looking at the. Oh my god! Um, the music is just as hypnotic as the game in itself, and the yeah. visuals. The weird thing is, I don't feel like I'm playing a game. Sort of really? It's just sort of there, and I'm just responding uh, in a way that I feel that I have to. It's sort of intuitive. It, it really is a game that brings on a trance-like state. It's like if somebody fell down in a bus shelter. What? <laughs> and you just start trance dancing, yeah. She's just, he's just like, I need some glow sticks, she's having a seizure. <laughs> What? Sweet what rave. No, I mean like, you know, like, like you said, like it's just a reaction. Like you go into the like, adrenaline type mode. I'm not. I'm not saying that like that's a, that's what you're sort of at the end of the moment. Oh, you're trying to be focused. So much adrenaline, like hulking out right now. I'm gonna lift a car off a woman. In a sec. As soon as I finish this game, <laughs> she can wait. I, I, I honestly, because because the fact that we uh, this is a part of the the humble indie bundle that's on sale right now. Um, I cannot imagine playing this on my fucking phone. That's it's so messed up. Oh, you're so close. You get through a good run, you're like, yeah, I, I could fucking nail this, and this is over straight away. It's it's just it's crazy. I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, but you will because you're watching it right now. Um, but I feel like there needs to be a line that we need to draw at some yeah, point. However long this episode goes for, I imagine I'm gonna be here like six okay. times longer than that. Yeah, I bet we've got shit to do. <laughs> But yeah, it's like my hands and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, hey, yeah, did, 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 yeah. No, I, I, I wouldn't want it to go. That was that was really passive aggressive, but it was funny. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, alright, all right, let's let's back out for a bit. Alright. And you're gonna hold the, the mic and Okay. We're not even gonna we're not even gonna cut here, we're just gonna change places. I'm just gonna keep doing this so something is happening on your screen. Alright, okay. Alright, shit, okay. So it's just it's just left and right? Yeah, it's just left and right. Okay, alright, alright. Here we go. Alright. 
So, Are you so confident, far, Harry? I'm like, I'm not confident about it because I've seen so many people fail at this game. Fuck. But that being said, like, it's it's kind of interesting how you did like twice as good as I ever did. Yeah, but I've like been watching it. I've been like seeing how sort of the patterns form. Like, ah, if you look on the edges of the actual um, the construction, that you should be following the way that the lines, because they were the, the, the way that the sort of like radioactive lines, the way that they work, is they they'll start to turn before anything else. Um, I just gotta be quick enough because I'm not getting, getting past that next line. Um, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was setting myself up for when I fuck I, when I was playing this. I was setting myself up. Um, I was projecting to like, you like how I would play this game. <laughs> really? Like, I was just like I'm gonna curse heaps, um, especially with how my previous week is fuck gone. Um, this is not. Oh fuck! Oh, that, this is not a way I should be. Because here's the thing, is that like, I probably won't get determined to play this anymore than this evening. Which is a shame for Terry Gavon, because then he doesn't get $3 of my money. Um, <laughs> uh, and the wonderful fuck people at uh, Wolfire, I think, are the people who do the, in the bundles. I think it's Wolfire and it's a bunch of other people. Is it Wolfire? I think it's, I think it's Wolfire who runs it. Oh, wow, I never. Uh, which is a shame, because I don't think I've ever played any of the Wolfire games. They, they have games that they make. Stuff. They look ah, good. I should be proud of it. The, the fact that they do the in, uh, indie bubble stuff. Fuck. Um, because I, I think they're good people. Like it's, it's more than I'm doing for games and charity and, and, and shit. And fuck and indie people. Um, so well, I, of indie I, I people, guess you're sort of doing a little bit of publicity for them now. Oh yeah, now. But like you know, fuck. Um, but the, it's, it's, I, I, I don't, I don't want to say I do nothing for the indie game people here in Australia because I've written articles about them and stuff and fuck it. Well, actually, I make indie games and sometimes yeah. you like help me get pizza and stuff so I think that you're supporting <laughs> the industry in your own way yeah, with your like car. I, I feel like I can't help, I can't help uh, your brother Matt who also makes games with you. Yeah, yeah, just get him pizzas too, he likes yeah. pizza. Right, well, okay, alright, well fine, well that's easy. <laughs> Give me our uh, pizza boy. That's, okay, that's what I don't want. <laughs> you don't want I'm to be a graduating pizza boy. in six months and that's exactly the opposite of what <laughs> I know I'm not gonna find a fuck. I'm not gonna find. I know I'm not gonna find a job like right out of the gate. But uh, oh fuck, especially not with fuck. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> I think this is why like nobody would hire me at like a uh, you know a strict publication because like when they would be like, uh, hi, we're uh we're, we're uh, this is James Smith from Polygon and uh, today we're gonna be playing Super Hexagon by Terry Kavan. Um, it's an interesting game. It's a it's a bit of a puzzler, as you can see here. It's quite hypnotic. Fuck! It's uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd have to like put Tourette's on your resume or something <laughs> like that. Uh, mild <laughs> bits of <laughs> dust. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. We don't cover this without HMO. Um, is there any anything? Ah, oh, fuck. High blood pressure would also be on that. Um. Fuck. I'm getting hypnotized just sitting here. It's like a lava lamp. All right, let's have a look at the hexagon up because it's. I'm liking this soundtrack a little bit less, but I'm liking the visuals a lot more. Fuck. Alright, let's have a look at Hexagonist. Oh, we already played Hexagonist. Do, 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 do. Mega Man is cool. If Everybody anybody is... has that kind of reaction time, then... Are you, have you seen that video of actual Terra Kavon, like, finishing? Spanish no, one? I haven't. Oh, it's incredible. He did it like, GDC or, um, independent games. But anyway, I think this is a good place to end it. Yeah, definitely. How do you feel about that? I, I feel like... I should just uninstall this game and take my <laughs> life back. <laughs> uh, this is Harrison and uh, and Howard uh, Adam Carr. Sorry, Adam Carr. And uh, his game Star Slinging Kings comes out on the OER on uh, in April, doesn't it? Yeah, hopefully early April. Yeah, it's when it'll be up in the store. It's good, and uh, you should look at Two Hit Games. Two Hit Two Hit. Oh, two Hit Studio. Two Hit Studio dot com. Two Hit Studio dot com. Non plural. Non plural. Non plural. It's Two Hit Studio dot com. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's Toast Beauty for this week. Uh, thank you for watching us play uh, Super Hexagon, even though we're not that great at it. But I don't think anybody's really that great about it. Great at it, except for Terry Kavon. Uh, I need to see him play now, because if anybody can actually do that, then they probably shouldn't be playing games. They should be, like, conducting high-speed traffic. Well, I'll, I, I'll, I don't know what people with good a, reaction speeds do. I'll Flight jets a, or something. Um, I'll tell Twitter account. Um, when, when we put this out. Anyway, thank you for watching Toast Beauty for this week. This is Harrison. And yeah, this is Adam. And we're, we're, we're going to play this a lot more. <laughs> <laughs>